You go to the Middle East, you find out that Lebanon is the place to go. Did you go to Lebanon? That's the party place, isn't it? That's where everybody goes. That's their Vegas. And everybody kept telling me right before I went to Lebanon. They were like, Oh, Russell, when you go to Lebanon, it's party. It's the best party you'll ever have. Best what? Best party. I don't know what a party is, but I'm going to trust you on this one. <clears throat> and let me tell you something. It was. It was the best time I ever had. It was like in Lebanon. It was, it was crazy. Like, the shit, like, it's not even like, wow, they were just nuts. It was just like a good vibe. It was like a fun time. I remember I, I did my shows there, and after the shows, these four Lebanese dudes roll up, and they're like, Hey, great show, Russell. Uh, you want to go party? I go, I, if I have to go party, I will, thank you. Um, no, party, we go to nightclub. You want to go? I go, yeah, sure. Four Arab fellows whom I've never met before. Let me assist you in my own abduction. So, I... I get in the car with these four guys, because I'm an idiot, right? I get in the car, but I get stuck in the middle seat in the back, which is even worse. Now, and we start driving to this nightclub, right? And uh, now here's the thing. You put five guys in a car, or rather four that can speak the same language, and you put four guys in a car that are going to a nightclub, and it's going to sound rowdy. Even if you don't understand the language, it's going to sound rowdy because four guys gone the way to a nightclub is like, it's going to be off the fucking chain. We're going to get bottle service. There's going to be bitches, 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 bitches. And that's all you think. But then you add the fact that they're all speaking Arabic, and they're probably saying the same shit, but if you don't understand it, it sounds fucking aggressive. And I'm in the back seat, and all I hear is, And I start panicking, because I'm thinking, holy shit, they're arguing as to who's going to kill me. I'm thinking, they're going, no, I killed this one, I killed the last one, you killed this one, I don't want to kill him, you killed this one. And especially in Lebanon, I don't even think they're speaking Arabic probably. And all I keep hearing is Habibi. That's all I keep hearing. No, no, Habibi, Habibi, Habibi. Habibi, Habibi, Habibi. Ah, Habibi, I want you to meet my brother Habib. Habib, Habibi, 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 Habibi. So I try to turn the conversation back to English. And I go, so uh, guys, well, well, tell me about the nightclub. You're going to love it, it's beautiful. Okay, well, tell me about it. It's bomb shelter. <laughs> I go, that's hilarious. What do you mean? It, it's bomb shelter. We're going to a nightclub called bomb shelter? It's bomb shelter, yeah. I go, don't you think that's hilarious? No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? It's, we're in Beirut. We're going to a place called bomb shelter. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it funny? I go, it's ironic. It's like going to India and going to a nightclub called Diarrhea. <laughs> Come on down to Diarrhea. It's the shit. Yes. So I go, the, the nightclub is called Bomb Shelter? No, it is B-18. I go, it's boat. No, B-18. Where I come from, B-O-A-T spells boat. No, it's B-O-18. B-O-18? Yes. But it sounds like you're saying B-O-A-T. I know, but that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, you ask the name, I'm telling you the name. B-O-18. But locals, we just call it B-O. <laughs> Why? Because everybody thinks we're saying boat otherwise. I'm like, well, all right. So we're driving, and we get to what looks like a vacant parking lot. And they go, we are here. And I go, we are where? <laughs> there is nightclub. I go, no, there is empty parking lot. <laughs> no, you see that guy? And I look, and the middle of the parking lot, there's a big Lebanese guy standing there like this. <laughs> go to him. And what? <laughs> he will let you in. Let me in where? <laughs> the nightclub. I go, why don't we all just go together? No, we are going to bark the car. You're going to do what to the car? We're going to bark. Well, let me bark with you. Fuck it all, how? So, so they go, no, it's easier for you because you are not from here. They will let you in, no problem. No what? No problem. And what about you guys? We will talk, we will get in, we'll meet you inside. Don't worry, so you go. So I'm like, all right. And then I start panicking again because I'm thinking, Holy shit, these guys are going to smoke me when I get out of the car. 
and then they're going to drive away. They're going to shoot me in the back of the head in the parking lot. So I get out of the car and I bolt. I just gun it towards that guy. And as I'm about here, I realize I'm running right towards the guy that's going to kill me, right? Because why is there just a random guy standing in the middle of the parking lot? And as I get there, I turn on my gangster, right? Because, you know, guys, when we see another dude, especially a bouncer, we, we don't walk up and go, hey, how's it going? Because you don't want to be the dick, right? You want to... Wanna... So I, I try to be cool. I roll up and I'm like, yo, what's up? A nightclub around here? I, I don't know why I turned into a, a black American guy, but fuck it, I did. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, Jack, where's it at, motherfucker? Right, so... I go, is there a nightclub around here? And the guy just goes like this. And he steps aside and there were stairs leading into the ground. And I go down there and he goes so I run down the stairs right because I'm thinking this guy's going to shoot me in the head too I'm all paranoid about getting shot in the head right so I run down the stairs because I figure if he's going to shoot me in the head I want to be at the bottom of the stairs when it happens I don't want to get shot at the top of the stairs and my last few seconds alive are me falling down the stairs you know it's bad enough you know, bam and then ooh ah ooh that's going to suck right at least this way I'm at the bottom of the stairs like bang and it's like oh you know but So I run down to the bottom of the stairs, and I look back up, and the guy just does this. So I get to the bottom of the stairs, and I take a step, and there's another guy standing there. And I'm like, dude, is there a, a nightclub around here somewhere? And the guy steps aside, and there's a door behind him. Now, usually, when you're standing outside a nightclub, you can hear something. You hear something, you hear at least... I don't hear shit. I just hear crickets, little Lebanese crickets. So, is there a nightclub around here? And out of complete silence, he opens his door and I hear. <laughs> and I go inside this place, it's a fucking bomb shelter. Let me tell you something. It's not a club that they designed to look like a bomb shelter. It's not like they took the O2 Arena and went, tonight we're going to make a bomb shelter motif. No, it is a bomb shelter. Let me tell you something. It's not, it didn't used to be a bomb shelter and now they've converted it into, it's still a bomb shelter. It's not like they took the bomb shelterness out of it. They just put speakers into it. That's all they did. That's what I love about the Arabs. They got balls like that. They're like, oh, Habibi, we have not been bombed in a while. And we are wasting the space. Yalla, bring some speakers. Dance party. 